Hi everyone. Today is the day four of the Fide Grand Swiss, and I am here. I have had my dinner. I just want to show you the place where I ate my dinner today. It's at the Flavors Restaurant, Indian cuisine. <laughs> Beautiful restaurant, I must say. Amazing time here, uh, eating the food. The venue is just opposite, so it's it was very near, and I've decided to eat well, so that I can have my energy going. Because this is a very long tournament. I mean, we are just on day four. We are still seven rounds away from the end, but a very important round, and I would say a pretty good round today for India. Let's start today with the women section first, and a big, big, big shout out to Vaishali. What a game she played today! She beat Maria Muzichuk, the former world champion, in just 23 moves. Wow! It was an insane performance by Vaishali. And the opening started off normally. You know, it was the Sicilian Rosalimo. And at some point, Vaishali put her knight on h5. It did seem a bit provocative. But, my god, the wind is just off the charts right now. <laughs> I'm actually having difficulty sort of walking uh, ahead. But okay. So, she played knight h5, put her bishop on b7 and then Maria went wrong by putting her queen on h4. And this is where Vaishali played some brilliant moves. You know, firstly, she took, um, she took on f3, gf3 and now rook d4 would trap the queen on h4. However, there is knight b5 fork. So what Vaishali did here is that she went first queen b7, which was the best move. It was fantastic chess by Vaishali. Attacking f3 and b2. If you save it, rook d4 traps the queen. So had to go knight e2. Then she picked up the pawn on f3, brought in her rook to d2. And the final move, knight g3, was so pretty. So pretty because there's a mate on h1. In this way, Vaishali actually beat Maria Muzichuk and now she's, I think she's uh, gained some 6 to 7 ELO points through this game which means she has crossed 2480. She's just 20 points away from becoming Grandmaster. The way she's playing here, I think very likely that she will finish her title. Okay, we'll see how that goes. But 3 and half out of 4, she is one of the leaders of the tournament. <sighs> Moving to Harika today. Harika lost to Munguntul, but Kuyag, and it is a big event actually, I would say, with that Harika lost because Harika is so solid that she hardly loses her games. I think she got tempted by this rook takes f7, which looked so interesting because if you take the rook, then rook d7 and b7 is hanging. However, to rook f7, her opponent played this calm bishop c6. And somehow, her pieces got totally misplaced. And Savita managed to, uh, sorry, uh, but Kuyag managed to win the game without too many difficulties. So, a big blow for, uh, for Harika. Moving to Savita, uh, Savita played a very good game against Mamadzada. Uh, drew her game, solid chess. Divya played against Kiol Basa. Olivia Kiol Basa, a strong player. Uh, Divya again showed good chess. She also drew her game without too many difficulties. There were not too many ups and downs. Tanya Sachdev played against Madina, Olya Varde. And actually, Tanya was playing 
pretty well in that game however at some point uh, she 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 went wrong and uh, she lost her game uh, to madina uh, which is actually uh, not a great thing because tania now has two back to back losses she really needs to come back vantika today was in a tough spot against her opponent gomez barrera um, in fact she was almost on the verge of getting into a tough position but she fought back and managed to uh, win her game so this first win for vantika so today the indian girls scored 3 out of 6 a good score and uh, yeah this is how the girls did let's move to the open section and see what's happening there now arjun eri guys two and a half out of 3 today was facing alexander predke arjun plays this normal opening uh, semi tarash everything is going well They're like okay maybe a draw incoming suddenly predke sacrifices the bishop on h7 and we are like oh what this is a blunder but what it was so difficult to play practically for black because queen came to h4 knight came to g5 there was a check on h7 check on h8 took the pawn on g7 and the attack looked very strong but arjun found the best moves he took on e1 which was the only move then he played his king uh to d6 and then he ran with the king to c5 fantastic chess he also found queen d6 and then when the opponent played queen f7 he had to play bishop c6 somehow he did not play this move he played the move king b4 think he played for a trick here which was not the best because what he thought was opponent will play rook takes b7 he will play knight a5 and then there is rook c1 check and mate but if he had played bishop c6 he would have won the game so a big miss there by arjun he's on 3 out of 4 he's playing really well he just needs to finish off his games better going to the second uh, indian sl narayanan somehow things went completely wrong for sl in the opening i don't know he was not in his element today and he lost his game uh yeah completely outplayed after first 15 16 moves something was missed by him next up we have vidit who beat alexand uh, alexi shiro with its third consecutive win vidit is playing great chess here now after losing to ervin lamy three wins and also the very interesting thing is the line that vidit chose today he had already played before against ilya nishnich and somehow shiro played the same line without knowing that game so shiro was not well prepared for today's game and vidit got a big advantage he played f4 f5 he broke the position and then shiro went for bishop takes a3 vidit is like okay i understand if i take on a3 you will take on c3 and then my f5 rook will so he took rook takes f6 and i think shiro missed the move bishop b4 check that's what vidit said later on and with that vidit managed to score a win great win for vidit gujarati next up we have vichugo versus arvin chidambaram what to say about this game uh, arvin played so well he built up a completely winning position here and i think at some uh, at that point where he could give rook b8 check and he would have won the game just by some boost but he went wrong and in fact at the uh, vitugo started to win and then in the end the game ended in a draw kind of fair result i would say because both were winning so a draw is okay but i'm sure that arvin won't be very happy because he could have actually won the game next we have gukesh taking on ivan sharich today gukesh risked it all he wanted to win uh, but at but you know he was losing at one point in the game 
if Shari should have played knight c5, Bukesh was in trouble. Okay, position does look scary. King is on f6 and so on. But it's winning for black. Black is better. But Shari went knight f4. He thought he's still better. But Bukesh found this classy move. Queen takes e4. If rook takes, then there is knight e4 check and fork. The knight is in between the queen to give the check, so that doesn't work. And in the end, the game ended in a draw, which was not a good result for Sharij. A close shave for Gukesh, uh, who remains unbeaten still in this tournament, two out of four, four draws. And the same thing, same score has happened with Pragnananda as well. Four draws for him as well. All draws against his own. Opponents. Today he was facing Yilmaz. Uh, he played the Queen's Gambit accepted. Absolutely no chances for his opponent. Also no chances for Prague. The game ended in a very, very safe draw. Nihal Sarin won his game today. Nihal Sarin played, a, I would say, a beautiful positional game. In the Sicilian, uh, he he got his pawns in the center. And then, hello, and then he got his knight to c4, where the knight sat so well in the game. And then Nihal just maneuvered because the bishop was no match for that beautiful knight. And slowly, white pushed on h3, g4, and he just won the game. Also, I like that how he brought his king from g1 to first b1, kept it safe there and won. This is all uh, bread and butter for Nihal Sarin. You know, he's so good at these things. Then, we had Raunak Sadhwani versus Jeffrey Jiong. Very solid draw for Raunak. No nonsense there. He was white, but he didn't get much. But Raunak's tournament another fantastic result now it's giri nakamura prag and jiong four draws out of four <laughs> good news was hari krishna struck back today against shreyas royal it was very important for hari krishna to get that first win rolling uh, and now i think he will be a force to be reckoned with in this tournament he played well, he uh, got his pawn to e5. The position seemed around even, but very soon he was able to launch a very powerful kingside attack. And with that, he managed to win. Kartikeyan versus Kirill Shevchenko, I believe in this game. Nothing much happened. Kartikeyan drew without too many difficulties against Shevchenko. Leon Mendonca played well yesterday but lost to Fedosiev. Today he lost to Rasmus Swana and I think that was a big blow for Leon because he was playing well in the tournament but the results are not going his way. And uh, today also his opponent played really well and Nihal, uh, Leon had no chance. Aryan Chopra got into trouble against Theodoru Nicholas. He was an exchange down at some point, but uh, he, he managed to keep that end game exchange down. He managed to save it. And finally, Abhijit Gupta beat Adiban in a rook end game, which was drawish. But Adiban didn't play so well and he lost. So first win for Abhijit. And Adiban is on half out of four. He needs to make a comeback. With this, the men's Indian men team has scored seven and half today out of 14. So this becomes, I think, the best day for Indians until now. Or I don't know. They have scored in all 10 and half out of 20, which is already a good score. A good. I think on day one we did score 11. So 10 and half, but. Much better than day two and day three. I have a feeling that 
tomorrow is going to be a very very critical round because we have Vaishali who is in the lead we have Vidit and Arjun who are on 3 out of 4 and these people have to really sort of give it their all who knows you know already Prag is in the candidates we have most likely Humpy getting the rating spot in women if Vaishali can make it through here if Arjun can make it, if Vidit can make it, we might have three, four candidates in Canada. That would just blow up everything, the chess scene in India totally. But okay, let's not get too excited. It's time for me to end today's recap as I have reached my room. I hope you had a good time understanding what's happening here. And I will see you all tomorrow. Until then guys, bye bye.